Welcome to another edition of the Hoop Scoop. This will be my final video from Maui, unfortunately. Uh, the final day of the Maui Invitational was Wednesday, and Texas Tech fell to Ohio State, unfortunately, but uh, they fought hard. Um, you know, I think that's the main positive. Texas Tech went only one and two in their three days at the Maui Invitational, losing to Creighton on Monday, crushing Louisville on Tuesday, and then not ever being able to catch up to a very good uh, Ohio State team, uh, a, a good solid Ohio State team um, that was on on Wednesday. But the positive is that Texas Tech was able to fight back. And that's what Mark Adams said when I asked him about, like, what are the positives? What are the positives are you taking away from Maui? And, uh, you know, I, I think he brought up a good point because they did. They fought back against Creighton, uh, and then they, they battled back from a tough loss and crushed a Louisville team they should crush. And then they, uh, you know, they hung with a good Ohio State team, but clearly an NCAA uh, tournament Creighton team. But uh, it's, uh, overall, it was a dark and uh, cloudy day uh, at the Maui Invitational. Just like, as you can tell, there's clouds here in the background. Yesterday was all sunshine. Today is uh, more of a dark and cloudy day. But I'm standing on the beach in Hawaii, so how can you complain about that? Got to see some great basketball. Uh, the hospitality, like I said in the previous video, uh, from not just people here at Maui, but also the people at the Maui Invitational was just amazing. Uh, it was, you know, I crossed off a couple of pretty big bucket list items here and covering the Maui Invitational, and then also just getting to come to Maui and, and do that, do it, like I said before, uh, with my girlfriend. I uh, just ha have a great time. Uh, so no complaints here, life is great. Uh, a couple other things I want to mention. Uh, I thought Daniel, uh, Daniel Bacho and Kevin O'Banner were exceptional. Uh, O'Banner and uh, Bacho combined for 40 points and I believe 10 rebounds today in the losing effort against Ohio State. I think Daniel Bacho really uh, announced himself as a force and a guy who's going to be one of the better players in the Big 12 this year. If Texas Tech can get Bardell's and Mech back, they're going to have one of the best front courts. Maybe not even just in the Big 12, but in the, in the entire country. So I think there's some good things ahead. Uh, also, Texas Tech really cut down on their turnovers. I thought they focused. They were you know focused in on what they were doing. Uh, they basically cut their turnovers almost in half, but at least by like five uh, a game uh, during their time here in Maui. So they go back to the friendly confines of uh, the USA and Lubbock uh, here for some games as they tool up uh, for, for Big 12 play coming up. And I think we're going to be in for a good season. I don't think, all, you know, woe is me, all is lost with Texas Tech. I think it's going to be a very good season. I think it's an NCAA tournament season, and I can't wait. So with that, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, thank you.